Our victim is Daniel Santos. Like Pam Hodges, he was hung with fishing line. Although Santos shows no signs of cosmetic surgery, this killer, for reasons unknown, has clearly selected two victims who bear deliberate resemblance to members of our own police family. Now, what did the crime scene give us? Well, there's no prints or trace evidence. All we know is that the rig Santos was hung from was built from standard hardware store pipe and that the fishing reel that fed the line was bought from a bait shop in North Carolina in 2005. Where are we on the owner of the boat? Rudy Hollings. He's been in Spain for a year. He said he had no idea who would have used this boat to commit a murder. So somebody could have been aware of his travel plans. It's also possible if the killer knew boats, uh, they were looking for telltale signs the boat wasn't in use. Yeah, that's probably why he picked it, sir. He knew he could kill Daniel Santos undisturbed. Well, what do we know about Mr. Santos? He moved here from Georgia about a year ago. I I'm still trying to find a current address. I did speak with his parents. They told me that he worked as a male stripper. Three months ago, he called his parents to tell them that he quit stripping and he had landed a big-time gig. Did they know what this gig was? No. He was vague, just like Pam Hodges. Okay. So, I need you, Detective Esposito, and Dr. Parrish to go over all the cases that you work together. See if anyone connected to them presents as a suspect. Yes, sir. For the sake of these victims and our own people, find this killer. <clears throat>